rest of Asia is bigger, wealthier, and more culturally rich. And yes, it's in China. Macau has the world's highest state gambling mecca. Gambling in Vegas is fun, slot machines with free cocktails. Gambling in Macau is serious high stakes baccarat with tea. Macau is a tiny peninsula right across from the mainland China, situated on the western side of the Pearl River Delta. At 32 square kilometers, Macau is just 5% of Singapore's size. It's about half the size of Manhattan, yet it has more than 35,000 hotel rooms, 30 Michelin star restaurants, and 25 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And it clocks gaming revenues that are six times the size of the Las Vegas Strip. After 450 years of Portuguese rule, this colony was reverted back to Chinese sovereignty in 1999. And today it feels like a foreign country altogether. A beautiful blend of two completely different continents in one, Europe and Asia, that you will never find anywhere else on earth. With Portuguese cathedrals, pastel Portuguese buildings, roads and restaurants are all abundant and available in Macau. Once a tranquil fishing enclave became engulfed in a multi-billion dollar casino boom that has taken the region by storm. This is the sole territory within the People's Republic of China that permits gambling. The rich of Shanghai, Beijing, and of course Hong Kong go here for a holiday treat. Hong Kong, which together accounted for 90% of Macau's 39 million arrivals in 2019, day trips from Hong Kong via ferry is an easy and enjoyable escape. China has also poured billions into the infrastructure. The Hong Kong Zuhei Macau Bridge is a 55 kilometer mega size sea crossing, completed in 2018. The cost comes in at a staggering 18.8 billion US dollars. This is the world's longest sea bridge and it takes 45 minutes to cross it for as little as 8 US dollars. This bridge is connecting Hong Kong and Macau with its own border control facility and making its day trips easy and affordable. Macau's gaming revenue was 36 billion in pre-pandemic in 2019, while the Las Vegas Strip raked in just 6 billion. The majority of the gambling revenue in Macau is generated from games of fortune, including poker, baccarat, and roulette, among others. The success of gambling industry in Macau has attracted casino companies from all around the world. In 2021, there were 42 casinos in Macau, and they are no ordinary casinos. The Studio City Hotel has a figure eight shaped Ferris wheel embedded into the skyscraper. There is a glittering Eiffel Tower outside of the Parisian Hotel. There is the Venetian Hotel. Inside, they have built a replica of the city of Venice. Italian singing gondoliers take you around the water canals under the bright blue Venetian sky. And dozen others, all with their own opulent interiors, entertainment and attractions. Falls, Macau turns into a neon light extravaganza.
Today, Macau is putting its ultimate gambling playground past to the test. China is making a shift to a more non-gaming future for Macau. With gaming licenses expected to expire in June of 2020 this year, China has extended them an extra six months. The country currently has a total of six operators. When the reforms come to power, this number will remain the same, but the length of the licenses will be decreased. The future of Macau looks amazing. As the government shifts to entertainment, art and other attractions, this will build a healthy tourism industry, rich in culture and experiences. Keep an eye on Macau, it's not just about high stakes, it could be one of the most exciting places on earth. If you've liked what you've seen in this video, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching, Reportify Media.